It's Madden NFL 24. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Finns and the 49ers. And it's all up next. We're about 40 miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Brandon Gond and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Jason Sanders now to get this one started, and we are underway from Santa Clara. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return, and he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they will be let out by their second-year quarterback. And there's a word that constantly gets thrown around with this guy when you talk to anyone in the building. Potential. They're sky high on what they believe he can grow into in the role of a starting quarterback. In addition, there are plenty around the league who think that as well. And years from now, he can still be leading this offense out. Purdy going to the air right away. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And knocking down way up close to the 40 at the 39. Good pick up there, 22. And we see the emphasis early here. Get your star receiver involved, able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. And to me, this play says our guy is better than your guy's. Because you know, a player of his stature, he won't just be single covered all game long. It's going to involve multiple people. And right away, they told the other team, guess what? He's just better. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up second down. They go play action here, Purdy. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Jalen Phillips, the former first-rounder, getting in there for the sack. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Third and eight. Out of the gun, Purdy. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 38-yard line. 21 yards there on third down. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect 4-4 four four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. First 
down San Francisco to pick up 14 yards. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Completes it to Jennings. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. scoreless after one. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door first and goal. McCaffrey fighting but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard that's all down to the two. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Good work there. Holding them out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two? Maybe even three more plays. From the two now. Second and goal. On the ground, McCaffrey. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Oh, how about this call down near the goal line? And not only will he not get the few inches he needs, he's going to go backwards. That winds up being a four-yard loss and leads to fourth down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. And the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And the 49ers post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. And a special play there by the special teams. It's one thing to fake it. He ran it in for the score. I think the special teams coach saw something on film in preparation for this game. Told the head coach, now's the time. He got the green light, and they worked it to perfection. Jake Moody now for the point after. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it's finished off with a 5-yard touchdown run. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. The Dolphins take the field with Tua Tungavailoa, their quarterback from Alabama, at the helm. And his task in this situation is making sure this team knows that there's a sense of urgency yet somehow still stays calm because your natural impulse, your first possession is not until the second quarter, is you got to attack right away. Throw something big at them right away. Yeah, you've got to move the ball, but maybe be a little bit careful in doing so. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throwing now is Tungamailoa. That one complete to Hill. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. 
Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Now Tua. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Going to the air, Tonga Vailoa. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Second and ten. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 40. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. This one winds up to be incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Here's second and ten. Two are going to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Hill. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 27-yard line. Two at a Tyreek for the Miami first. Seems as if the passing attack's starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. They'll swing this out wide. Here's Ochoa. Great footwork, but still wrangled down before reaching the 20. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Here now, second and four. Give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Pass taken in by his big tight end. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Now he's got it. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. Sanders' kick is good. 
So a conservative decision there, but it does put him on the board. And I know the players hate it and the coaches hate it, but sometimes you just got to take the points when they're there. Sometimes a field goal is pretty darn good. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we've hit halftime here in Santa Clara with the 49ers out in front. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, but we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. scoreboard but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter this fielded right at the goal line and he won't quite make it to the 25 the Dolphins getting set to go back to work here in quarter number three but Charles we saw pretty entertaining first half close ball game remember there toward the end of the second quarter the opposition scored to take the lead now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Off of play action, Tungamailoa. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. The ball on the 32. It's second and two. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Third and three. From the gun, it's Tua. And that's caught inside the 35. And down to the 27-yard line. It's a big play there for Miami. 42 yards. Uh, that's the kind of play this offense desperately needed. They've got to be saying, our defense has kept us in the ball game. We're down, but we're certainly not out. And maybe that was the spark that they've been searching for. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Running right, here's a champ And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Tongue of Iloa to throw on second down here. And this throw incomplete. 
Of the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and it very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Tua sets up to pass it. That is caught. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know at this point they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. Looking to pass to him. He'll get it once more into the hands of Hill. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Mostert will take this in for the Dolphin touchdown. Hard to argue with that being their best drive of the game so far as they use the running game to get them into the end zone. Couldn't agree more, partner, prior to that drive. They sputtered a little bit, but it looks like they found the formula. I would expect them to go back to that more and more as this game develops. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Raheem Moster. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And yeah, they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, but as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent, still the same in what they plan to do on offense. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Purdy's throw pulled in by Kittle. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara been a very hotly contested game to this point just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter Hardy to throw it on first down man open that's Debo Samuel and he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40 11 more on that one and another first down this defense has certainly had an outstanding second half haven't they I know they just gave up the first down there for the offense they're hoping that that's something that they can jump start with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. 
This is Samuel. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. A nice stick and stop for a loss there from Jalen Phillips. And yet again, this run game just continues to be completely shut off. Completely stymied. I mean, they're trying to get some consistency, trying to find places to roam. They just haven't been there throughout this game. Back to throw, Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. Call it a gain of a yard. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. Complete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So the defense helping him out a little bit here late in the fourth. Yeah, and you're exactly right. And when you're the one doing the chasing, you'll take a little help from the other guys, won't you? After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Now Purdy. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Shotgun now with Purdy. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And he's blocked down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Now what a first down pickup of eight. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he's watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. Now on first down, it's Purdy. Looking for the out route. He's got it. Complete to Kittle. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. That is caught by the tight end Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the 49ers answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth-quarter lead. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. Important extra point up and through, and the lead is now 14 to 10. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So Tua and the Dolphins down 14-10, a minute 54 on the clock. Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and 10. Throwing to a... And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Look with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion, 
allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Tua. Connecting with Hill, and he's going to get out of bounds with the first down, so that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save the timeout. Working the sideline there, good route, good catch, first down, and he gets out of bounds. They have to like the play calling because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Here's Tua. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds. Incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Now Tua. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. This is first and ten. Tua to throw. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. Gosh, given the time and the short game, would he have been better off just dropping that? Yeah, when you look at the clock, you think so. But it's hard to get a receiver to drop a football. They're trained to catch everything. They'll come up now on second down. Tua. This is caught by Waddle. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and ten. Tongue of Iloa. Taken in by Barrios. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Boy, how do you let a guy get that wide open in the two-minute drill? There's absolutely no way that that's coached or taught. That's an absolute complete breakdown on that play. They'll come up first and 10 here. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. Here's first down. Now Tua. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. A lot of practice time, a lot of thinking goes into two-minute drills, even on the defensive side. So now you want to make sure the guys understand. Continue to be aggressive, but make sure you're smart in doing so. 12 yards between them and the end zone. Second and 10. Here's Tua. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. 
Charles, that drive was perfect. Methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, but they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational Jason football Sanders. to end this one. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So that drive goes a full 80 yards in 10 plays. And it was finished off by a Jalen Waddle touchdown. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Well, this one partner was fun down to the very end. They got the points late, right before the whistle. Then the ensuing kickoff. They were hoping for magic on the other side, but couldn't get that spark. Fun if you won. <laughs> and fun for us because we got to watch it and call it. That magic that you were talking about didn't occur at the end, but what a game all the way through. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.